Welcome back, this is the Emma Jack, and today we got uh, Commando Suicidal Spillway. Oh, I feel so slow on anything that isn't Gunslinger. I do like playing the other classes at times, but I just, I want to go fast, you know? I want to go fast. Uh, we're only level 7 on Commando because we prestiged, got to work our way back up, but, you know, whatever. Such is life, right? Um... So I said yesterday that I, uh, I bought some new clothes, some new pajamas. I tell you, one of the pajama shirts I got, super cute. <laughs> it's not it's not too often that I uh, that I put on like uh, an outfit or something like that, and I'm like, ooh, baby, you look cute. Um, but that's definitely one of the shirts that uh, that achieves that for me. So I'm uh, I'm pleased with that. Pleased with my purchasing decision for sure. Um, one of the shirts is more normal looking <laughs> and also a lot more comfortable so I'm sure you can imagine which one I'm going to be wearing more often but uh, if I'm ever going to somebody's house which you know it's the pandemic so probably not going to be happening but if I'm ever going to somebody's house and I want um, I might take the cuter shirt is all I'm saying um, Got my, uh, my robe. The thing with women's robes, though, is they tend to be a lot shorter. So it's, like, super cozy, but it only goes down to, like, my knees. And, uh, you know, it's it's good. I just, I would like longer. But what can you do, right? Um, new bed sheets are so nice. You know, I've, I've had my older bed sheets for a long time. And after you wash your bed sheets a whole lot and, you know, sleep on them and sweat on them and, and just kind of wear them down over time right they uh they get like kind of rough they lose that that softness you know and you can use like your fancy your fancy like anti rough whatever stuff when you have bread sheets for like a long time like they just kind of do wear down over time right like the actual fabric starts to to kind of come out right it's it's time to get new sheets you know and uh, so i got new sheets and oh it's so nice to have new sheets it really is it's it's such a a nice thing to have, honestly. I'm gonna use this on you because I just feel like we don't really have too many bullets to handle everything that's coming at us here. Um, have not used my uh, my new my new uh, towels yet. I did get new towels, but I have not had the opportunity to use them yet. Mostly because uh, haven't had a shower yet today, um, which is because where we're going through a whole list of things here eh? um, <laughs> we had a uh, power outage today so I woke up at like nine. Oh, we're like flat out of bullets this is the last one and maybe oh you're like one gold or one one dosh off of perfect there I don't have my stupid hold up hold up I swear to god one of these days I'm adding my keyboards uh, um, do we want that? Because that puts us to 7 and then the HM Tech 501. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we want. Okay, cool. I'm adding my, my Corsair utility engine. I'm just, I'm just, I'm smacking that stuff into my, uh, my launch, uh, options thingy. So annoying to have to relaunch it. Anyway, so, um, new bed sheets are nice. Haven't used my towels because we were out of power this morning. I woke up at, like, 9 o'clock and my TV was off. Like, like, off, off. My TV's oftentimes off when I when I wake up, but, like, even the, hey, I'm off light was off, you know? My computer was off. Um, monitors were completely off. Like, everything was, was gone, right? So I'm like, okay, we're out of power. <laughs> cool. Um, somebody apparently ran into a telephone pole. <laughs> somebody ran into a telephone pole, which is, like, rough. <laughs> Uh, we, we do have some cold weather here, so it, you know, I, we got basically two options. Well, three options. We got the, wow, this driver sucks option. We got the, uh, okay, we're going to have to ditch that real quick. That's okay, though. We got the, you know, wow, this driver sucks option. We got the, you know, he slipped, or not he. Could have been a girl, too. Um, or, you know, anything in between. Um, we got the, uh... Ice. Could have slipped on the ice. It's, it's getting pretty cold. And then we have the, the one that I think is probably the least 
likely, is uh, some alcoholic. Just uh, drinking and driving. It was 5 a.m., so I'm assuming it was somebody on their way to work and they slipped on ice or like they fell asleep because they were too tired or something. Who knows, but uh, we don't have any news on it. But we did lose a uh, power pole, apparently. There was a collision with a power pole. Hope they're okay, but I also don't know them, so I don't really care. Um, sorry. I, uh, I don't have the mental capacity to care about everybody. It's just uh, kind of not there. Um, so, uh, oh, yeah, hopefully they're okay, but... We lost power at, at 5 a.m. It didn't come back until like 11.40 or something like that. So no stream today because I ended up sleeping. <laughs> I ended up just going for a nap. Um, but uh, yeah, so I ended up not having my shower because you have some hot water. Just kind of chilling out. We have seven. That's eight. Yes, yeah, so this, is, this is what we got to have here. Ended up not having a shower because we have some hot water in the hot water tank, but like, you know, you're going to want that for, um, if you have to like, do your laundry or something, and the, who, who knows how long the power's down, right? So like, a shower at 9 in the morning, not really a high priority, right? Um, that, that's more of like, uh, you have to wash your dishes or something kind of thing, you know, something that, that actually matters more than some person who's not even sweating having a shower just because they want to feel slightly more clean when they're already pretty clean. You know, not 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 really a, a huge deal. Anyway, um, didn't have my showers, didn't do my laundry, same reason, you know? Not worth wasting um, that that hot water that we have on, on towels when I'm not going to have a shower anyway. And then uh, I also did some of my laundry last night, so I had my, uh, my new pajamas and all that that I'm wearing currently. Um... And, uh, my sister didn't get to wash her stuff last night because, you know, she went to bed earlier than I did and I went to bed later than she did, so I got to do my laundry. Um. Hey, let's go. Um. So, uh, anyway, so. I, yeah, I, I, when, 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 when power came back on, I was like, yeah. You can, you can take the, uh. No. Uh, you you can take the the laundry. You need it more than me, cause cause I got to do some laundry last night, right? Just just respectful, right? I didn't make I didn't tell her that. I just let her do it. But uh, hey, don't do that to me. Um, cause I got to do my laundry last night. But yeah, we got power. I don't actually lose power all that often. The last time that we like proper lost power for a while would have been. 2000, I hate being just like slightly too low level to one shot stuff with the, with the grenade here. It sucks, man. I want to get back to 25. We'll get there. We'll get there. And then immediately prestige and I'll be complaining again. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. That's what you're here for. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. We, we, we lost power back in like 2013 or 2014 or something like that. For some reason, whenever we lose power in this area, like our specific little specific like sub area just never really loses power I guess we have like enough connections around but that power pole that went down that was the one that it was a big outage that was that was an important power pole apparently very important power pole for sure um oh so it was uh, it was definitely a not so great kind of thing going on but at the same time, it's kind of fun to lose power. It wasn't late at night. It was not late at night. Thank God. I, like, seriously, we lose power at, like, 9 o'clock at night, and I'm crying. I, uh, I don't do good in the dark, as I have explained before many a time. The dark and me are not friends. I thought that might hit. Some. I thought that might hit. I thought that one might hit, too. This one will. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was in the morning. We had lots of lights. My phone was charged. I just read for a bit, took a nap for a bit, and then uh, got to recording. We're almost out of bullets, but I thought there was ammunition around here somewhere. I don't know. Just break his, break his dang armor down, dude. Just break it down. Destroy it. Take some real grenades. How do you like them apples, huh? Oh shoot, fam. 
He doesn't actually have that much, like, extra damage taken when you hit him on the face, so it doesn't really matter, to be honest, if you do or don't. Just try not to stand super close to him and then get your butt handed to you. You know, that's, that's really the important part. Hey! Not cool. Let's get this healed up here. I'm so weak, it sucks. We have gotten oh level 13 field medic, that's cool. So uh yeah, it was it was interesting. It was definitely an interesting morning, is is basically how it goes. I was gonna go grocery shopping today, um, but kinda threw a wrench into the loop and also at the same time I'm kinda like do I care to go grocery shopping really? Like, nah, not not really. To be honest with you, it's not it's not really like on my uh, my list of priorities. Um, because tomorrow I'm going to visit my grandparents. My grandparents live like just next to a grocery store and then also a cannabis dispensary. So I'm kind of like you know rather than rather than going grocery shopping today since I'm going to be in the area anyway. Tomorrow, I'm like, yeah, I'll just, I'll just go visit uh, my grandparents, maybe stop by the dispensary, and uh, pick up some groceries on my way home. And it'll just be uh, a more efficient use of gas, really, which is is always desirable for sure. You get two grenades out of uh, one ammo pickup. That's sick, dude. That is sick. <laughs> Let's just keep running around. You'll die eventually. Don't think he won't. He's going. Oh, you know what? Take some of these. Call me in the morning. Call me in the morning, baby. That was a, like, clutch AF med nade. Ooh. I don't have any grenades. We're gonna pick up some ammunition, perhaps, here. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. That was a hard-fought battle, okay? Hard-fought battle. So I, uh, I'll be picking up some cannabis for my first time tomorrow. That'll be cool. I talked to... Uh, it's actually kind of funny because, like, uh, marijuana is, is, like, completely legal here. It's, it's treated as, like, basically it's alcohol, right? So, like, there's an age restriction on it. And other than that, as long as you're not harming anybody other than yourself with it, it's not really illegal. Just stupid. Um, if you're, like, doing a stupid amount of it, right? Um, lots of, lots of levels and stuff from this, which is sick. Um, yeah, so you, you can do as much of it as you want, as long as you're not, like, hurting people or disturbing people, you know, that's, that's, that's your own prerogative. Um, and it's always, it's always kind of funny talking to people who live in areas where it's illegal, because we have, uh, the RCMP just down the road from where I live, and the RCMP is kind of like... Kind of like the FBI-ish of Canada-ish, kind of. Um, well, yeah, they're, they're, they're the Royal Canadian Mounted Police. They used to ride around on horses, but, I mean, horses, I mean, they still do, I think, to to some areas, but, um, you know, not not really the most efficient way of getting around, so they have, uh, they just have cars, but uh, they're, they're still, like, you know, their, their mounts now are cars, right? They, they mount their, uh, Whatever those cars are called. I forget what the, like, typical police car is called. It's like a good car, right? It's, that's why they make them police cars, but... Um, so you got the uh, the RCMP, right? Which is, like, the police, right? It's not just, like, a, a police station. It's it's the police, right? It's, it's the peeps you don't want to get caught by, right? Or it's the peeps who are gonna catch you know I mean, whatever they're they're police they're police okay they're they're law enforcement okay and uh, literally next door to the RCMP literally next door to the police station is a recreational cannabis store <laughs> it's literally like you have the RCMP you have the RCMPs like nobody but the police can enter this driveway and then like directly beside that driveway is um the cannabis dispensary and then uh on the other side of that is the the cannabis dispensary's parking lot i love i love showing it to people who live in um like america or, or anywhere where it's illegal really because you know 
these these peeps out here be like um you know concerned about getting caught or whatever and uh <laughs> this is just like right next to the police station because it's it's completely legal and that was a convenient place for them to put it or maybe they wanted to meme on the haters or dab on them or, or whatever it is the kids are doing these days but uh, regardless it was it was definitely a uh, it is it's definitely a funny thing that that I get to show people who live in uh, which could burn this who live in America or anywhere um, you know actually talking about the legalization of weed um, one of the side effects that that a lot of people actually don't think about or that that wouldn't expect is uh, is actually with the legalization of weed I actually smell less marijuana as I'm walking around you know, as you go around town, there aren't, like, people just smoking it in a park or something like that, right? Because the reason they would do that before is because they don't want, like, to get caught, you know? Like, people don't want uh, to get caught, so they're going to do a place where the smell is going to disperse and, and uh, not stick around, and they're going to do it kind of out of the way or whatever. So you, you smell it as you're walking down, like, uh, pathways and, and stuff like that, right? A little, little bit out of the way, even not, not super out of the way, because, you know... You don't want to have to take like a two-hour trip to go smoke some weed, but you want to not do it like just in your driveway, right? You don't want to just go sit out on your deck and, and smoke some weed because, uh, you know, you don't want to get caught, right? Um, hey! Not cool. We're going to die. We're not going to die. We're going to die. We're not going to die. We're going to die. Okay? We're out of We're out of bullets. We are smack out. Just get a shot right there. What a clutch shot. What a clutch shot. I will accept no dissent on that. That was a clutch AF shot. Okay. Right there. Oh. <laughs> um, so yeah, people go find all these places that are just, just barely out of reach, but still kind of like within reach, you know, to go and, uh, and smoke the weed so that they wouldn't get caught. Nowadays, it's illegal. You, you don't have to do that. You just go sit out on your deck and, and smoke some weed. Sit inside, smoke some weed. You go get, uh, you know, some edibles or drinkables or, you know, surface crap or whatever it is that, that you do or whatever, right? There's, there's no reason to to keep it under wraps or whatever, right? So as you're walking around, you actually, in my experience anyways, I actually, actually smell less of it. It's actually less in my face now that it's legal. Well, I do walk around and see like a cannabis dispensary everywhere. <laughs> But that's, 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 who cares, right? Like, that's, that's not bothering anybody. The smell did. The smell definitely did. The smell was definitely, um, a problem. So I actually, I prefer the dispensaries. Because dispensaries, who cares? It's just like a normal store. You know, I don't go shop at, uh, like, Lucenza Girl or whatever either, right? I'm not, I'm not bothered by that. And I, I actually do intend to go shopping at, uh, at a cannabis dispensary, but... Um, yeah, no, it's just, it's just a, it makes it kind of like less annoying because it's legal. Nobody wants to, you know, they're, 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 they're more comfortable with it. And yeah, I don't know. It's just, there is still like a stigma around it, you know, like there is still a, a definite stigma, especially among, uh, not really like so much the super older people like 90s hundreds kind of thing but in that like uh 40 to 60 range there's there's definitely still a lot of stigma around it um where people don't like it and the thing is, is you'll you'll find people who like like full-on like alcoholics right people who will get just blackout drunk and then uh you'll talk about marijuana with them and they're like whoa dude that's that's not cool and you're like really like, you are currently not remembering anything. You will wake up tomorrow and not remember this conversation because you're so wasted. What are you, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> what, 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 are you, what are you doing here? I got a, uh, a milkshake. From, uh, we had the power out, so I wanted lunch. And I ordered lunch. I got a uh, mocha yava milkshake. From Fat Burger. I didn't get a Fat Burger though. I don't really like burgers. 
That's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm sipping on here. Um. So yeah, that, that, that's my plan. Tomorrow I will be uh, hopefully purchasing some some cannabis of some sort. I will possibly use it tomorrow. I don't know. I don't. I don't know when I'm when I'm planning on uh, on experiencing my my first uh, <laughs> my 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 first time. You know, but uh, I, I plan on it tomorrow anyway. I plan I plan on purchasing it tomorrow. It's actually funny because on Google Maps, the, uh, the cannabis dispensary that I plan on going to is Google Maps out, so you can actually like go right inside the store. I wish more stores were like that, honestly. I don't know if you can like like rent the Google um, like hardware for it or whatever, and then just go and map out whatever area you want. I don't really know if you can do that or not. If you can, I'll totally walk around. Uh, Stores and stuff. You, you kidding me? Just walk into a store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing is, you can't like call up Google and be like, "Hey, yo, send me the stuff. I'm gonna go map out like uh, Walmart because Walmart has to say they're okay with it first, and Walmart's probably not gonna say they're okay with it because of probably security reasons. Um, you don't want you don't want all of your store being visible on um, on the internet for for possible, you know. Uh, uh, like robbers or whatever to, to go in and be like here's the camera here's the camera you know kind of like a, a risk-free <laughs> uh, just walk around the store and, and see how everything's going why do I keep I gotta get more accurate with this thing and better at not shooting so many times because run out of bullets is a major problem um, are we on the right do we have the right perks I don't really care about reload speed. Mag capacity is probably better, right? Actually, this is a big reload speed, and I do kind of care about it. I don't know. What's the other one? Yeah, I like this one. So we just got to get there, and then, then everything kind of gets better. Um, or just, like, pick up some more Or just get better. Just get good, dude. I mean, that's my plan for tomorrow. That's my plan for tomorrow. It, I'm not... Uh, like a part of me, a part of me wants to. I'm, I'm probably just gonna go for CBD anyway, um, because CBD is slightly less intense. You don't really get that. Uh, like, I mean, supposedly I don't have any experience personally, but um, you don't really get that uh, like euphoric high off of CBD. That that's that's uh, that that's part of THC. I'm probably just gonna go with CBD because it's it's less. I mean, it's, it's, it's more of a starter thing, right? Um, coming. That was the last one. But I'm a, a part of me wants to uh, to record while I'm I'm feeling some semblance of however it affects me. I don't know, dude. I don't know um, how it's going to affect me. I don't know what it really feels like. I've never done it. You know, people talk about it all the time, and I'm like, I don't really know how that's going to like translate to to how it's going to affect me and, and my own personal ability to to think about things and, and how I handle situations and all that right because they definitely it's gonna I mean everybody always says that it um, you know typically what I hear is, is people saying that it, it helps them with their anxiety or with their depression or, or with whatever right and it's like okay but like exactly how because if it's gonna be doing that here's the thing right if it's gonna be doing that then it's gonna be affecting how your brain processes the information that you're receiving right otherwise it's not going to change your anxiety or depression or whatever right and people always say that it does that like this and this and this and i'm like yeah but like i want to know exactly and you can't really describe it because it's not really something that you can just be like oh well yeah it like makes you feel real good i'm like yeah but like you know what i mean like you can't you can't really know without without experiencing it like what 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 does good feel like in this context right what does happy and pleasant feel like you can't know without without doing it but a part of me wants to um to record just because i thought it'd be funny but then also i'm like yeah but i typically record at like somewhere in the neighborhood of like 11 to 3 typically and it's i, I don't know if i really want to be um under the influence of that point at like on anything alcohol weed whatever right that's pretty much all i would do really but um just sounds like a bad idea all around, right? 
Hey. Just, just really sounds like not a good plan, in my opinion. Um, let's go for a shot right there. Oh. I hate, I hate, I hate how slow I am because it sucks. Okay, you want to go for a shot right like there. I know it was gonna hit me. I know it was gonna hit me. I took that hit for the team, for the team of me, myself, and I. Um. So anyway, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do it. I don't want to be under the influence at like that time though, right? Because stuff can happen, right? You know, my sister could uh, like get into a car crash, and I'm like, well. I have to stay home because I'm currently under the influence and I don't really want to go outside and like, you know, possibly harm myself. Um, my house could burn down and I might not necessarily make the big greatest decisions at that point. And, you know, it's just um, being under the influence of anything in the middle of the day. It's not like, uh, it's not, it's not necessarily like, uh, ooh, you're drinking before five. No, no, no. Like, it, it, it's just, you want to be conscious when things are happening, you know what I mean? You want, to, you want to be of sane mind when things are happening. It's just irresponsible otherwise. Um, just because you never know what's going to happen in the day, right? Like, we lost power at 5 a.m. Could have happened at, you know, 1 p.m., right? It could have been a power pole closer to my house that, like, fell onto my house, right? Like, who knows? Any number... Excuse me. Any number of things could happen, right? You just You just don't know. Um, this cat's back in the so I, I just, I don't think it's a very responsible decision to be under the influence of anything at, uh, at that, that time. Unless you have, it's like, somebody else in the house. Which I wouldn't, which is another reason why I'm like, yeah, maybe my first time I'd rather have somebody else in the house. <laughs> you know? Might be a good idea. Oh, I didn't. I actually don't need it to explode on him. I just need it to hit his face. Just has to hit your face, dude. I can't hit your face, though. There we go. You know what? Take one of these. That's the great thing about having the med rifle. You getting swarmed? Fire a med grenade at your feet. Kills them. Kills you. Ooh, baby. Um. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm. Uh, this is uh, another great example of when you would want to use this. Just get some nice clearing stuff going on. Oh, it's so good, dude. It's so good. Love it. It's not so great in, uh, like, groups. You know, you got, like, a team of six. The health is just a little bit too high for it to be, like, just clearing out the clots and the crawlers, like, immediately. It's, it'll still do it. It just it takes a little bit longer for it to feel, like, so good, you know? It's mostly reserved for uh, choke points and uh, just healing your team. If you would even use it on uh, on a on a team, I don't even know if you would honestly. Because you typically have a medic, you don't really need your commando to be uh, also a medic. You know, it's not really necessary. I want to take something like uh, foul maybe or or uh, smack. A foul or uh, even like an AK, perhaps minigun, maybe these days. I don't know. Something to get some some good clearing potential of the of the trash, right? That's your that's your that's your goal as the commando, right? Oh, it would have been beautiful. It would have been beautiful, dude. Oh, that one felt good. Oh, I thought he was a little bit taller. I, th I thought he was going to be a bit of a taller boy. That's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's uh, it's going to be a fun day tomorrow. I, uh, I've i heard on the grapevine that it, it's more of a go in and like... Be like, I want this, this, and this. It's not really... I mean, I've, I've walked through the store on Google Maps so you can kind of see it, right? You don't really get to go in and like browse the shelves because there are no shelves they don't just put it's not like it's not like a liquor store where you get to, to walk in and there's like shelves of uh, of uh, this is not a very good fight for us by the way this is not a very good matchup um it's not a very like it's not like walmart it's not like a liquor store where you get to again just like walk in and there's shelves of, uh, of alcohol and you pick what you want 
Like you go in and you'd be like, I want this, and they grab it from the, the back because it's all very protected and stuff. Because I'm sure that uh, cannabis dispensaries, um, very concerned of, uh, of theft. I'm sure that's a big concern for them, right? Hey, not cool, not cool. Um, I'm sure that's a big concern for them, right? Ouch. Use your stupid... Yeah, thank you. I hate, I hate how slow we are, okay? That's, that's my, that's my problem here. Is we're just so dang slow. We'll just toss one of these right here. I thought that would definitely hit her, but it didn't. Not a very good matchup for us, okay? She's, she's a boss that really relies on, on speed. And we're a class that really relies on, um, somebody else doing all the damage while we clear the Edars. So, uh... Yeah, not a very good matchup for Commando. As long as we can get her to the point of being at the yellow stage, it should still be doable. But I'm not I'm not making any arguments towards uh, that happening, okay? I'm not, I'm not making any guarantees here, okay? okay we're, I know this has been going great, and I'm making a stupid decision by moving. I'm getting a little bit swarmed by Edars. I want a, a little bit of a... A better kite job going on here, okay? We don't understand each other. Want a little bit of a better kite job going on. We do have the plasma coming out, which is scary. Come on, come on, come on. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Dang it. Please. Oh, thank God you made it. We haven't won. This this isn't a win, right? This is not a win. But, uh... I tell you, it's a good step in the right direction for sure. Oh, once that plasma's gone, she does not. She's not super reliant on speed. It's an intense. I'm only level nine too, and this is suicidal. So you know, please forgive me for being a little bit, uh, for having a bit of trouble here. Yeah, your invisibility. Don't care. Oh, jeez. Walls. Walls. Please, no. We were so close. And it was an eat our bomber. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Ah. Oh. Dang Matriarch. Level 9 Commando versus Matriarch and Suicidal. Not a very good matchup, you know? Not a very good matchup, for sure. You're just too slow. You don't have the good damage output. Minigun would wreck her. I don't want to use the minigun, though. Minigun kind of wrecks all the bosses, though, right? Anyway, that's going to do it for today, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.